some kids pick it up very quickly. For some parents, though, getting their toddler out of nappies and into their big kid undies can be a drawn-out ordeal. On And Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking toilet training with Laura Morley and Harriet O'Sullivan. Good morning to you both. Hello. Uh, let's start with you, Laura. How do we know our toddler is ready to start the toilet training? Well, lots of toddlers don't kind of wave a flag and say, right, it's time for me to start um, using the toilet now. So the only way you can really tell is actually to look at their behaviour. So the main things that you want to look for is that your child has bladder control for one and a half to two hours. Because obviously you don't want to be taking them to the toilet every 15 minutes, right? No. Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing to look out for is that they have an interest in the toilet and others using it. So it might be that they follow you to the toilet and want to hand you the toilet paper. Um, they might also take themselves off to a quiet spot when they when they are about to do a poo so they're actually starting to read their body signals so <laughs> those are the kind of the main signs to look out for to be able to mm. help yeah. I was about to say well they're always with you in the toilet aren't they yeah. with your toddlers you <laughs> yes. never get any peace and quiet no, at all I know. Um, so Harriet you work with preschoolers can toilet training be quite stressful um, I think we often make it quite stressful and like um, Laura is saying if we kind of wait and see those signs of readiness and when our children are ready to actually give it a go and sometimes often if they've got like a best friend or somebody they hang out with loads at kindy who's having a go at doing toilet training that's another good kind of bandwagon to jump on mm -hmm. um, because it makes it kind of quite exciting and they're doing it together and they're going together and all that kind of thing so like with everything we talk about our children are individual they don't all do it at the same time it doesn't have to be as soon as they turn two on their second birthday mm -hmm. wait for that readiness and be as calm as we can with it ourselves. Our children download everything mm. that we do. So if we're stressed out about it, they're going to be stressed out and about it. And sometimes if you wait just that little bit extra, it can make things mm. easier on the whole yeah. family, can't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so Laura, how do we talk to our toddler about toilet training? Well, there's lots of things that you can do, which are just everyday things. So don't try and make a big deal about it. If they're coming to the toilet with you, just pop the potty out. So while you're sitting on the toilet, they're sitting on the potty, and it feels like an everyday occurrence. Um, the other thing that you can do is when you start nappy changing them, if um, they've done a poo in their nappy, you can actually get them to say poo. So you say, oh, look, you've done a poo in your nappy today. And so that kind of helps to introduce the language for them. Um, by putting them in undies for even an hour a day, it starts to teach them the skills of what to do. Um, and that really helps as well, because you don't really want to go straight from being in full-time nappies, especially if they're in disposables, to mm -hmm. undies um, full-time. It's, it's nice to have a little bridge. And so teaching them those skills of pulling up and pushing down their pants mm -hmm. um, really helps to set them up for success and get them cool undies too oh totally yeah um, mm. and I find if you can try and get the absorbent ones that really helps because then you're not worried about them running around having wee puddles all over your floor mm. um, and then the last thing that I love to do and this is really fun if you've got a cell phone is just to take some photos of your child actually doing each of the stages and learning to use the toilet and then you can print those photos out and make them into a book or into a poster um, and it really helps your child because they see themselves doing what they need to do and it feels like all the steps are broken down and it makes it a lot more manageable for them. Absolutely. I've got a beautiful photo actually of my one of my toddlers with his father, both sitting on the toilet. One's on the potty, oh, one's on the toilet. Nice. It's beautiful. It's Amazing. going on the wall. Yeah. Um, Harriet, how do, we, how do we work with kindy teachers when we're potty training? Um, keep them in the loop. So let them know when it's happening. Mm. They're not mind readers, you know, you need to talk to them about it so that they can kind of keep up with those strategies. And if you are using any of these amazing strategies that Laura is talking about, let them know about it so that they can do it as well. Most kindies, there'll be a teacher who will kind of be on toileting duty, for want of a better word. So there will be somebody there throughout the day to encourage it, to remind them all of those kinds of things so they can work along with them. And like we've said, um, they, children at this age want to be independent. So let them choose which undies they're going to put on next. And equally, if it is the beginning stages, pack lots of changes of clothes, you know, expect mm. there are going to be accidents. It sometimes takes longer than other times. So make sure you've got the spare ones so that you don't get to the end of the bag and go, oh, well, we're going to have to put nappy back on because we haven't got any more pants for you. Mm. It's kind of like that's them making them feel kind of like, oh, I didn't do it today and stuff. So, yeah. And be prepared to have lots and lots yeah, and lots, lots and lots of undies. Mm. Little tiny mm. pairs of undies all over yeah. the house. Yeah. Um, Laura, is it better to use a potty first or do you just go straight to the toilet and put one of those little seats on? Well, it really just depends on the age of your child and whether they actually want to use a potty. So if you've got quite a young child, the great thing about a potty is you can take it to their happy place. You know, so if they feel relaxed about doing a poo in a certain place, then having the potty in that place is going to make it a lot easier for your child. So, so you don't have to 
associate it with the toilet necessarily? Well, lots of people think it's like a barrier. So if you toilet train using a potty, that they're never going to be able to use the toilet or it's going to be another stepping stone um, that's, that's going to create a barrier. Um, but it really doesn't happen like that because what a child learns on the potty is actually to release wheeze and poos and they do that automatically on the toilet eventually anyway. So if you've got a child who's three, they're probably not going to want to use the potty. So if you are going to go straight to the toilet, then just make sure that they're still in a squatting position when they're on the toilet. So they need to have a nice high step still. Mm. And then they'll be fine. And then they won't fall in either because that can terrify mm. them as well. Oh, and they do, do that and they can get a bit yeah. of a fear about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Harriet, what else can we do to uh, help toddlers adjust to their big kid undies? Yeah. So um, like um, Laura kind of said, try and normalise it. Try and make it a part of your everyday routine. Um, try and introduce those undies kind of straight away um, to get them used to it you're going to need some extra pairs um, but kind of don't add in extra steps in the middle because it's going to make it kind of harder in the long run um, and then maybe try the absorbent ones as well like um, Laura was saying to start with um, but the independence thing so you know they want to give it a go mm. so let them choose their fun funky undies that they want to put on and all that kind of stuff and make it exciting and celebrate um, you know when it's going well celebrate and you know if accidents happen and you know don't dwell on those ones they yeah. do yeah yeah. Well, the two experts in with me today. I must add my own little piece of advice too, and that would be having toilet trained three children. Um, summer is a really good time yeah. to do it because you don't end up with uh, loads of wet clothes, yeah. minimal wet yeah. clothes. Hey, thank you both so much today. Coffee Group is brought to you by Anmum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you would like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this very cool ebook from Anmum that allows you to Good night, Mel. Here's a story just for you. It allows you to record your voice reading the story. Now, this week's winner is Lisa Robinson. Your ebook is on its way. It'll be blank too. There'll be no mic inside it.